What up, guys? It's your girl, Manny Meeks, and I am back with more Mars Red. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, please subscribe. I'm here. Let's be here together. Okay, elephant in the room. My videos are a little late this week. I got the COVID shot. Adobe's being a douche, and it's really annoying. <laughs> the fact that I had to spend six hours this morning rendering or like repeatedly exporting Falcon and the Winter Soldier makes me mad. Today is Friday and I'm watching, this, this should have been watching on Monday, but all the stuff that compounded, especially ended with today, I'm just like, you guys, I'm just, I just want to watch some things and enjoy some things. And I thought the freaking Mortal Kombat was coming out today and it's not, they moved the date. How dare they? <sighs> but <clears throat> if you guys are enjoying any content on my channel, Hey, plays reviews, reactions, whatever I got going on. Go ahead, subscribe. I made you here. Let's be here together. And down below in the description box, got a link to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Minute Meeks. And over there, I have um, full length versions of my reactions as well as the clear versions. And I also have early access series that I'm also a little bit late on this week. It's just one show that I'm currently late on. Don't worry about it. It's going to get up. I promise. But um, I do have that on my Patreon, it's patreon.com forward slash Manamix. I also have the link down below to my uh, merch. My merch, uh, I don't know where the merch bar is. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I, I really can't predict it, but if it's down there, thanks. If not, the link is in the description below. My brother did the designs for me. So if you wanna support me and my brother or family thing, please, I choose. But you guys don't have to. I really prefer that you subscribe to my channel um, I recently hit 10K and I'm going for 50K by the end of the year. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, why not? I mean, it's a goal. If I don't meet it, I'm not going to die or poof or something. So, but yeah, I would really prefer you guys subscribe. So last time on Mars Red, we didn't, I, I didn't really get like a, a good sense of what the actual story is. All I know is that right now, um, vampires are in this world I'm not sure if everyone knows about them or if it's just a military thing, um, but they are creating a military unit that is to deal with these powerful vampires. And I think the little blonde kid in the theater is one because the actress who got injured in the um, stage accident was turned as she was dying. So maybe that was the reason why she was having difficulty uh, controlling herself and, and, and uh, dealing with what happened. Not like the accident, but the changes in her body. And so she went out in a glorious flame. She is dead. She broke out. That's what I was confused on. They went through all these measures to keep her in the cell and she literally just walked her ass out of there. She was... She could hear people talking through walls. She didn't need to see you to see you. She knew where you were by the sounds because she could hear everything, even as deep as she was under the river. And, and not to mention the way she came up, but I don't think she killed anybody. I think she injured a bunch of people, but she didn't kill anyone. So I was very intrigued by that as well. And also what does that symbol mean? There was a symbol that was on her tongue and they said that is the mark that shows up when someone has been turned. But when she died, she left that mark on the ground. So what does that mean? But I'm really here for this. I like the animation. I just like, I like the aesthetic of this. It's, 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 it's strange. It's something I haven't seen before and I'm kind of here for it. So let's go ahead and jump into episode two of Mars Red and it's till death do us part. Y'all these titles, they be, they be titling. Maybe titling it up. Oh, 1923. Oh, somebody. Oh, well, never mind. I don't know. So this will be World War One. I? I thought that was 19. Yeah, 1919, I think. If they're going by regular history. Uh, bitch, what? Oh, 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 I'm here. Oh my gosh, look at that. She fucked that shit all the way up. Y'all feet's gotta be moist.
human combustion. You call her a damn nincompoop? Oh, they hid that? Wow, um, she did not elope. She deathed it. Can I help you? Oh, that little bitty ass vampire. Oh, yeah, the news lady. Oh, okay. He's like, mm hmm. Are you going to be like, she didn't lope, but sure, go off, sis. Oh, is that him? So they just chilling though. Oh, sir. Oh no, he didn't just pop out with his pink hair. Like, here, let me shoot your asses and test it. Oh, not in the cheeks. Are you a vampire? But well, probably not. T You better put, yep, yeah, you better put the, better put the respect on that, sir. Bitch. He's like, okay, and we're done today. So who I gotta go kill? I'm, I need to go do some work. Damn. What's that pull? Oh. Uh, what's weird about this place? Oh my gosh, look at that. He's like, oh, a thing, touch. Like, my name's Omarion, touch. <laughs> Is she little? Oh, she's tall. He? She? He. I think. Oh. 
Oh. Uh, that's true. I sell that bitch out. <laughs> My money, bruh. I'm not. Sir, what? Uh-oh. She's gonna bite you. But if you do that, then... They keep talking about the play. So is the theater really like the, the meeting spot for all these folks? Damn. I mean... How does he know so much about them? He's just out here chilling in the sun because he cool. The music. Is that thing still on the ground? It is. But what she's seeing is uh, vampires dying. Hmm. Oh, he looks cool. They're not in there, are they? He got up there quick. What does that do? Are you really about to Romeo and Juliet? Bruh.
No, he's like freaking Alucard. They say he was an A level. Sir, came out of nowhere. Why does he get that mask on, though? Does she really just bite? What? But you're... Bro, just chilling with no arm, dog. He chilling with no arm. Let me tell you something. That escalated real quick, like. I would... So he... So... Y'all, what? I did not know that he was one. So every, okay, the whole unit is vampires. Okay, okay. I'm just dying to know exactly what's going on. Like, I need more information of this world. I need more information of what they're doing. I need more information about the vampires. This shit is interesting AF. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep watching this. I was like, I'll watch the second one and see how I feel. Bitch, I like this. I like it. I like a little dark, creepy shit. I like a little a la carte situation. And that's what he reminds me of. And I'm here for it. I'm here for every ounce of it. I don't think there's anything at the end. I don't think they do previews. I'm just double checking. Nope. Okay. There is something about this anime that just speaks to my soul. I'm kind of here for it. <clears throat> <coughs> So it's I, I thought that he was human because he's walking around in the daylight. So I guess the stronger the vampire, the more it can stand sun. So if, if the lieutenant or is, it, is he a lieutenant? Because I know the big guy's a colonel. But if the lieutenant is an A, is he an S rank? Because the other guy who was complaining, they called him like, un, was he unmarked? I'm, 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 I'm so intrigued by this. I can't wait to watch more of this. This is very interesting. I'm here for it. So on the note, guys, thanks for hanging with me and hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Super excited.